We found out my husband had renal failure in January of 2019. My mother donated a kidney to a stranger, so my husband could get one from a stranger, and he got a kidney transplant in August of 2020 at the height of the COVID pandemic. My mom is a unique donor in that she was in her 60s when she donated a kidney, and most people are younger than that. If you are going to be the recipient of a living organ donation, they try to give you the kidney of somebody who is your age or younger. So there's a good chance that my mom's kidney went to somebody around her age or older than her. One of the biggest things that was challenging was not the fact that the kids couldn't come, not the fact that everybody had to be super careful and wear masks. It was that there were no treatments available for COVID at that time. There were no vaccines. There were no monoclonal antibodies. There were no antivirals. And the early versions of COVID were extremely hard on your kidneys. I have a large social media following at Sharon Says So, and I offer nonpartisan, fact-based educational content. And one of the things that I decided to do on my platform was talk about my husband's kidney donation. As a result of talking about it, I have spoken to several people in my community who have decided that they would donate an organ into a donor pool. And it's been very gratifying to see the number of people who have been interested in participating or advocating for recipients and donors. We're three years out from his transplant. He just had his annual checkup and he's doing quite well in terms of how well the kidney is performing, how well he's tolerating his medication regimen. So overall, he could really not have a better clinical outcome from the organ donation.